Well, guess what? You know what, pre- you know what percentage they pay in taxes? 8%. E-I-G-H-T. What do you pay? I pay a hell of a lot more than that, man. Governor, I wanted to show the president's a live feed. Absolutely. So, Mr. President, uh, we put up a live feed here. Over here. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? Be able to see exactly Actually, what's the live happening. feed's over here. That's from a few days ago. Especially for my two little boys, Bo and Hunter. <laughs> yeah, Hunter. Yeah, who were ready to open their hearts to me. The investment bankers in this country, think about me, and this is not a criticism of them, but the investment bankers in this country went on strike tomorrow. No one would much notice of this. <laughs> but no, think about this in a literal sense. But if this room didn't show up for work tomorrow on Monday, the whole country would come to a grinding halt. So tell me, tell me, who matters more in America? But I'm proud to be the most pro-union president in American history. I promised you I would be. But what I'm really proud about, I, what I'm really proud about is being re-elected the most pro-union president in history. I made a promise, and I'll keep it for the next four years if I'm elected, that no one making under $400,000 will see a penny of their federal taxes go up. And they haven't. I kept that promise, and I will keep it. My first two years as my first two years as president, I've cut the deficit by more than any president has in American history. One point seven trillion dollars cut from the deficit. And the idea, we used to have about seven hundred and fifty billionaires in America. Now they tell me it's about a thousand because of the last administration. America got a wake-up call with the pandemic. We didn't think much about supply chains. People wonder what the hell you talk about five years ago, talking about supply chains. They know now. Who was fired for the lies to the FISA court for the Carter Page warrant? Who was fired for that? Anybody? Has anybody been held accountable for your institution deliberately lying to a FISA court to get a wiretap on an ongoing presidential campaign? There is an ongoing disciplinary process with respect to individuals involved in that. Here's the deal. You're back in front of us asking for the reauthorization of extraordinary authorities. Multiple courts have uncovered extraordinary abuses perpetrated by your agency. You are at the same time concealing information about serious allegations made against the president of the United States, even as your institution also targets his chief political opponent in an unprecedented way. Why would we ever give you the blank check that you want to continue surveilling American citizens in an improper manner? Why would we ever do that? Senator, we're here to talk about reforms today. I did get confirmation that the query... No, we're not. We're here to talk about the reauthorization of Section 702. Why would we reauthorize it, given your track record? of abuse and illegal and proper surveillance and political targeting. Why would we do that? Why would it be appropriate for this body to do that?